freaking coffee to get my uh, my brain firing up all the time. So in the morning, I had some instant coffee, and uh, now I got uh, some um, office coffee, which is uh, some Tim Hortons crap. I mean, maybe it's okay, but it gives me too much energy, so the, the brain is farting a lot. Uh, and I'm going to share a couple of things, a uh, couple of uh, thoughts about uh, this new concept of uh, robotizing the humans, like uh, connecting the humans with uh, machines. Uh, why there is this uh, concept in the first place and why some people would push for that. And guess what um, it's easy to understand but maybe uh, you won't get my uh, spiritual explanation um, the humans advance in towards destruction or towards uh, building or growth uh, if there is a need right so if we think of destruction who wants humans to kill each other those who want war and uh, make money of war so the, the the money is the engine of the society people uh, use money and they are driven by the money and uh, lots of research are, is being put into into the war uh, even viruses are being created for the purpose of destroying the other people to intimidate, to create, to generate fear and control. And that's an evil type of uh, control of some people who have decision power. So those people who sold their soul to the devil for fame, money, power, control, those uh, emotions, they, uh, they get um, these projects done so they can lead people who are also hungry for some money because who would uh, go to work for a research company knowing that their research is being used into, into the war machine who, who would do that See, especially when you have a, a number of choices let's say if you're a scientist and you want some um, uh, growth in your career uh, uh, so you want you, you have some dreams and you think oh yeah I could sell my uh, my skills my soul uh, to these people because that's the only place I can uh, use my uh, my knowledge right so yeah people can make choices now they can travel around and they can travel travel free to different country and put their skills and talents to a better use instead of uh, working for uh, all sorts of organizations that are actually destroying the world and um, no, so you, you have these people uh, using money and money power to uh, develop things that can lead to, like I said, uh, building a better world, like uh, solving the world needs, or uh, leading to destruction. So there are always forces that pull people towards certain things. And I said before, destruction is in our mind associated with pain suffering because we think through our five senses and through our bodies but in different world uh, you can see it differently uh, from the destructive people perspective that's growth because after the uh, someone is making money and money can be used for research or like uh, even some people selling drugs and the money they make they might donate for a good cause right uh, or they might donate to save the children of uh, africa which i'm kidding uh, it's i don't think it ever happened because evil sticks with evil actions and evil thoughts but who knows maybe this investors investing into uh, profitable uh, drug trade or maybe a uh, a prostitution ring maybe uh, they, they get some of the money and say you know what yeah I need to clean up my some of my sins and uh, send some money to the earthquake victims in Syria or somewhere like that hoping that God will have some mercy and uh, will, will clear all their 
past scenes. Now, um, so about uh, integrating humans with uh, machines, why, why, uh, why would humans uh, go for that type of idea? Why humans would want to modify their uh, temple, their given body? Because the body works fine. I mean, if you think of uh, saving someone who is not able to walk or talk, yeah, that's one thing. One thing. As long as you preserve the soul and uh, you don't use the, that research for other purpose. But the thing is, the money comes from, uh, like this type of research, uh, the money comes from a bigger powers who are people who are greedy. You won't see uh, this type of research coming from people with big hearts, like let's say uh, uh, funding a project through uh, crowdfunding that would lead to an amount of let's say 10 million dollars you will never get this type of money from crowdfunding 10 million dollars for this type of research to help uh, war victims to rebuild their limbs right you won't see that but you see this research coming from big companies and including uh, government-funded agencies that uh, work on research related to war, because there is money. Uh, where is war, there is money. So people make lots of money uh, on this stuff. So people use this one as an investing tool. Other people use as a, uh, building their skills and expressing their uh, talent and building a career. Everyone has to, something to gain out of uh, this type of research. So it's good tool and a good way to uh, profit. Uh, everyone involved in it, in, the, in the, that machinery, the war machinery is profiting out of it. And there is marketing as well. So they, uh, they promote this type of concept They're packaged into some cool stuff, like uh, some candy for the mind, making people fall for it, because that's the devil. The devil always package uh, uh, their tricks into a promise that is appealing to the weak minds, those who don't understand that it actually is devil behind the, the, the trick. So uh, what happens, the devil always wants people to control other people because they control people in power. So devil controls people in power and the people in power control uh, weaker souls. So weaker soul will, will execute a plan like an evil plan. That's the way it works. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me if it's true, how come, how come I know or what I got this information. Uh, I will not give you the answer because I don't have the answer. This is a science fiction uh, theory. Uh, I saw that in a movie, right? Or in a computer game. Uh, so the devil wants to control these uh, key people to uh, so the uh, devil gives them power and they now are using this power to feed their emotional needs because these people generally uh, were under control of their parents so these people as a soul were born into a family the parents were control freaks uh, controlling this uh, this these souls and these souls learn a new language being in the human body and they grew up because they usually uh, were uh, being pushed, uh, tossed around by the parents, do this, do that, or maybe they were uh, growing up into a rich family, uh, lots, of, loads of money. They were be, uh, they've been put into a university, law school, or any type of like MBA stuff uh, that gives them some. Um, a chance to work and grow into the career, uh, like office type of uh, and corporate uh, type of career. And they climb up the ladder, why? Because they know the system, they learn from their parents, then they get connected to certain peers, so, so it's that part of that world. Uh, and if you look at the TV, all these people are showing up on TV co convincing you, you need to, you must vaccinate, you must follow this one. Or if you look at the corporate uh, people, like at the top, they are all convincing you that you need to follow their policies, their uh, 
uh, corporate uh, all sort of uh, you know rules they they impose people because it serves their interest to have uh, to have machinery I'm saying that uh, if you work part of this uh, system you recognize these people all dressed like a suit and uh, all uh, you know having this attitude of uh, being in charge uh, you, you can recognize the even when you go shopping you recognize who's uh, working for a, uh, a corporate env in a corporate envi environment who's uh, one of those uh, policy makers who is politician they shop at certain stores um, it's it's a it's a certain character and lots of them like i'm telling you lots of them uh, they work for the system because it serves their interests, their emotional needs, uh, maybe power, control, uh, greed, or maybe they are just part of that uh, type of uh, ways of thinking. And uh, coming back to robotized uh, people, and I'm going to conclude my video, this is my uh, work break today. Um, there is lots of money into this type of research. Uh, there is one uh, Boston uh, Robotics or something making and promoting, actually promoting their uh, robots uh, with built-in AI. And uh, when you see the ability of those robots, it's scary because you think uh, they sell the technology to a large uh, production, like a mass production uh, manufacturers who want to take the technology and apply it so they can create soulless robots uh, soldiers that's a that's scary that's scary to think that uh, sooner or later uh, they will use people without soul just like a program to do certain tasks and Let's say you make a mistake on the road or something, a, a robot cop shows up and has no mercy for you. Now you can, you know, you can say apologize to the officer and it will give you uh, a less uh, punishment, like a smaller ticket instead of, uh, but when you, or maybe maybe uh, their software like, might, might have a glitch or some, some bugs or something and they might chase you because you appear uh, based on some sort of a description and it happens even with uh, real uh, cops uh, real cops they they have a profile and they follow a suspect based on the profile even the the person is not guilty and the people end up in a jail people end up with a, a criminal record and they are fighting a system to clear up their uh, clear up their record because you know they are wrongly imp uh, imp imprisoned, and uh, it happens a lot. Especially you see uh, this is a a, a big story about uh, racism and um, how the cops put uh, black people in jail, right? And so it is like uh, it happens all the times. But imagine having to deal with a with a soulless machine like a robot who has a large amount of power including firepower and now you have no defense no way to talk to this guy no way to explain no way to you know you're, you're, it's like a, the total tool of control being used by the state because they can and one thing is uh, touching the spiritual topic and I'm going to complete my video uh, devil cannot use people who don't want to execute the, the devil plans like uh, the people who don't want to sell their souls for power so devil can't do that but having soulless soldiers and soulless people or half like breeds devil can do that so devil worked like that through other people who use these machines so devil can control you through the machines 